Mimi G here with another tutorial as part of the Mimi G for Michael Levine collaboration. Today we're going to be working with New Look 6378 View D. We're going to be making this really short and cute kimono out of a lace fabric with a beautiful fringe. Now if you're new to sewing or you need a refresher course on how to lay out your pattern pieces, what basic tools you're going to need, how to cut out your fabric, you may want to refer to the Sewing Basics video linked in the description box below. Watch that video first, then come back and join me. You should have your pattern and you're going to cut out the following pieces. Pattern piece number five, pattern piece number four, and pattern piece number six. This is the back front and our sleeves. Once you have them cut out of your fabric, you're also going to need to have some fringe handy. You can use short fringe, a longer fringe, whatever fringe you want you can use. And you're going to need some half inch wide bias tape so similar to this. I have already pressed out one side and I left one side folded. Now for pattern piece number six, which is our sleeve, I chose to cut the length for view C versus view D. View D is a little shorter and I wanted a longer sleeve so that my fringe would hang lower. So that is totally up to you if you want to cut on line D or line C. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we can start sewing. We're going to go in, uh, ahead and start with our back pieces. So go ahead and place your fabric pieces right sides facing, if you can tell which is the right side. And we're going to sew down the center back, so I'm just going to pin. You should have three notches cut into your fabric so that you can tell where your center back is. And then pin again at the bottom. And we're going to sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Backstitch the beginning and at the end. Now once you have it sewn, go ahead and press this seam open. Once we have our center back sewn, we're going to lay one front over one back, right sides facing at the shoulders. And you're going to pin the other shoulder the same way, front to back, right sides facing. Backstitch at the beginning and at the end. You're going to sew the other shoulder the same way. Once you have front to back attached at the shoulders, press your seam allowance towards the back. Set this aside and grab your sleeves and your fringe. Measure out a piece of fringe that is the same width as the bottom of your sleeve and we're going to pin it overlapping our fringe onto our fabric about a half inch and we're going to pin. Now the fringe on the sleeve is optional. You can tell from the pattern that it's not, it's not listed. It's just something I think is cute so I added it <laughs> but you can skip this part if you wish continue pinning until the entire fringe is pinned to the bottom of your sleeve once you have it pinned we're going to sew along the very top edge of our fringe Once your fringe is sewn on, give it a good press using a cool iron and then we're going to attach our sleeves to our kimono. Okay, we're going to attach our sleeve using the flat method so I want you to go ahead and place your kimono with right sides facing you. I'm working with the seam of my shoulder and I'm going to place my sleeve 
right sides facing and you should have two notches for the back and one notch for the front and I always like to mark the center of my sleeve. I'm going to pin the center of my sleeve to that shoulder seam and then go ahead and pin the double notches and then your single notch. And we're going to sew using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. You're going to attach and sew the other sleeve the same exact way. All right, with right sides facing, we're going to sew along the sleeve and all the way down our side. So go ahead and pin. I'm going to start by pinning where the fringe is. I want to make sure that that is aligned. And pin there. And then pin a couple more places along the sleeve. at the seam. And then along the side. And we're going to sew in one continuous seam using 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance. trim your seam allowance or serge it and give this a press. Before attaching our fringe we're going to apply our bias binding. So I'm going to be placing the right side of my bias over the right side of my fabric starting at the bottom end of my kimono. The folded side should be facing up towards you. That's how you know you have you have it placed the right way. You're going to pin if you need to all the way around to help you keep it all together and we're going to be sewing using 3 eighths of, a seam, of an inch seam allowance. We're going to start at the bottom of one end and we're going to sew all the way around through the neck and down the other side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to trim any fabric that extends beyond your bias binding and then we're going to press this so that the seam allowance is facing the bias binding and then we're going to fold it and we're going to sew along the edge. So go ahead and trim off any fabric that extends beyond your bias tape. Once you have it trimmed and pressed, go ahead and press it again to the inside so that the right side you don't see it and on the inside all you see is your bias tape. And we're going to sew close to the edge. Once you're done with your bias tape, you can go ahead and give it a final press. And now we're going to pin our fringe to the entire bottom of our kimono. So I'm going to extend my fringe at the front about a half inch and I'm going to fold it over and I'm going to pin. And then you're going to pin all the way across the bottom just like we did for our sleeve, overlapping about a half inch. Continue until you reach the other end. Once you have it pinned, we're going to sew along the very top edge of our fringe. The 
remember to overlap the other end as well. And back stitch. And you are all done. That's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, peace.